What is up guys? Welcome back to Fishing Kingdom. Today I'm soloing it. Today Jen's at work and it's Valentine's Day so I'll have to surprise her right afterwards. But I'm over here at Lake Chesboro and it's really cold. It's like 48 degrees. Not the optimum fast fishing weather but we're gonna try some jigging and whatever it takes to catch some fish. Enjoy the video guys. Normally the water is about right where I'm standing. It's down pretty low and there's all these weird rock structures. I'm kind of curious. People doing some kind of rain dance over here. Make sure the water gets back up. Kind of interesting. It took some time. There's like a, it's at least 20, 30 of them. Weird. Fish on. There we go. Honestly, just called Jen. We were just talking on the phone. I had my bait out there. Boom, smacked it. That's a nice one, it's a fatty. Get that sugar crawl. That's a nice chunk. Probably, he's probably at least 20 something inches. Probably like 20, 21. He's a nice bass. That is what I'm talking about. So this guy's about 20 inches long. He's probably close to three pounds. He's a little skinny, just starting to pre-spawn a little bit. We're gonna let him go. All I was doing was literally on the phone with Jen. There we go, get out of here guy. Big guy. I was just on the phone with Jen. She just had work on her break, and I was like, yeah, nothing's really biting. And then boom, as soon as I get off the phone, I got smacked it. That was an incredible bass. He didn't have a whole lot of fight in him, I think because it's kind of cold out, but he did take it when it wasn't moving. So let's get one on, uh, let's go catch another one. So what am I doing? Well, pretty much, I'm just casting out a sugar crawl, letting it sit, and then I'm working it really slow. And honestly, it didn't even feel like he took the bite. It just felt like it kind of got lodged on something. But as soon as I started pulling, I felt a little head shake. And that's when I knew to kind of give it a little tug to make sure that hook was lodged in his mouth. Uh, for the most part, with it being so cold out, these bass are not very aggressive when they're taking the bait. I mean, the bass didn't even try to fight me when I was lipping them at the surface. It was just like that felt something like that and I set the hook and it was a fish. I'm probably just getting excited now. I got trigger happy. The color trigger crawl I'm using is called cinnamon purple. I also like to use the green color, but this is my first time trying it out. That's the first time catching a fish on it, so can't complain. The setup I got, I got a size three EWG hook. I use the Bass Pro Shop brand, it's cheap. It's also sharp for those that really care. And then I got it paired with a quarter ounce lead weight bullet and a little glass bead. I never use plastic unless there's nothing else on the shelf. I try to use glasses because it makes more noise. I change it up a little bit. I'm going on lighter line, smaller weight. I've got an eighth ounce and a size two hook for green pumpkin uh, Senko one. This one works pretty effective too in the, the same techniques as the trigger draw. I personally like using trigger crawls more just because out here in this part of California we have a lot more crawfish than random worms floating in the water.
There we go. Oh, I missed him. I felt it. It was going like this. That was a fish. Probably pulled it right out of his mouth. I felt him grab it. He probably just grabbed tail. Well, that's the end of this fishing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I gotta get going before Jen gets off of work. Hope you guys got to learn a thing or two and see that nice three pounder I landed on that trigger crawl. It's definitely uh, not the optimum time of the year to be fishing for bass, but you can still catch them. They're out there. Thank you, rock gods, to all those who made these little rock towers. I'm out. Have a great fishing day, guys.